People in the Colorado Springs area are shaken and disturbed by what happened. Nine News reporter Delisa Irizarry is live outside Club Q, where people have been leaving flowers all day long. Delisa. Yeah, Kim, in just a matter of hours, the memorial behind me has doubled in size, and that really speaks to how this community is feeling right now as they begin to process what happened. Agony can be anywhere. Today, pain is a pile of flowers just a block away from Club Q and the people that put them there. Frustrated. Whether it's happening more these days or not, it feels that way. Arno Van Zoren considers himself an ally. His heart is with his friends that call Club Q home. As far as I know, they're all okay. Um, but a lot of them may be heartbroken. Heartbreak is found across town at a vigil outside All Souls Unitarian Church. <laughs> but often, where people are hurting, there is healing. We're to make sure that we are bringing change for our community and raising voices for our community. Joseph Shelton is trying to look forward as his mind races back. I had just given a friend a ride back down and he actually said, take me to the club instead of taking me home. About 10 minutes after I got home, within that small time frame, I got a call from a friend saying that there was a shooter. Joseph says his friend Ed was shot twice, but survived and is in the hospital. Well, even one person is too much. Jasmine Warner says her friends weren't as lucky. We're finding out that our close friends are actually are dead. Um, so yeah. Grief tends to take hold, but with love and support, so can strength. Not letting fear win. You know, that's what I feel people who do these types of things would want you to do to run inside and hide. And ultimately, if you do those things, it's letting them win. I know that my friends that we lost wouldn't want that. Now, Joseph says his friend who was shot did have surgery today. He said he spoke to him on the phone shortly after. And Kim, he says he seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah, Jalisa, we can't forget the fact that besides not knowing who the victims are, we got 25 people that were hurt and some of them possibly facing long recoveries. Thank exactly, you. and we have to definitely keep those people in our thoughts as well. Absolutely. Thank you, Jalisa.